Hi, this is Randy Zajac, Technical Advisor at Gujon Brothers Incorporated. Today we're going to look at the steps involved in the construction of a carbon fiber skin board with our special projects guy, Ben Gujon. Step 1 is laying out your pattern. This is assuming that you've already chosen the various materials for your project. Ben is using half inch foam core with carbon fiber skins. The core of the board will be built from two halves, and the easiest way to get a symmetric shape is to cut one half and then use it as a pattern and trace it onto the core material for an exact copy. Once this step was completed, Ben glued the halves together with West System 105 resin, 205 hardener, and it was thickened with 410 filler. Step 3 consists of getting your materials ready for the gluing and vacuuming process. This includes cutting all of your breather materials in carbon fiber cloth to size, as well as the vacuum bag. The jig must be heavily waxed and buffed out before applying the bagging tape. Ben's jig has a slight custom rocker built into it, but any flat surface that is hard and non-porous can be used as a jig to complete your vacuum composite project. Step 4 is where we wet out all of the materials with epoxy on the jig and apply vacuum. For this project, Ben is using West System 105 resin mixed with the newly formulated 207 Special Clear Hardener so that the weave of the carbon is showcased on the finished product. Once the material is properly bagged, apply vacuum and let cure. Every vacuum bagging project is different and the cure time depends on many different variables. Step 5 entails first removing the skin board from the jig after the proper cure schedule, then cleaning up its edges, followed by an initial wet sanding with 220 grit paper. With step 6, Ben is adding a finished edge to the skin board using West System 105 resin and 207 Special Clear Hardener mixed with 423 graphite powder for extra durability. Step 7 is the initial epoxy flow coat. Again, Ben is using West System 105 resin mixed with 207 Special Clear Hardener. This finished process gives the board a tough, glass-like appearance. It's important to apply a thick layer of epoxy. Here, Ben is trawling it onto the surfaces with an 809 notch spreader, and then rolling it out evenly with an 800 foam roller. After sitting for several minutes, it's often necessary to lightly strafe the board's surface with a propane torch to remove any air bubbles. Naturally, after the epoxy cured, Ben flipped the skin board over and repeated the flow coat process on the other side. Step 8 takes place after your flow coat has had a chance to fully cure. Here we are wet sanding both sides with 220 grit paper followed by 320 grit. Step 9 is basically a repeat of step 7 where we apply the flow coat on both sides of the board. Special attention should be given to making this coat as even as possible. Step 10 is the final sanding and buffing phase. Ben started out the wet sanding process here with 220 grit paper followed by 320, 600, and finally 1200 grit paper. Next, Ben buffed the board out with a fine finish compound. Step 11 is the final step where we apply a backline traction pad kit from Surfride.com. Ben has snapped a chalk line down the middle of the board to help him lay out the pieces. That's about it for Ben Gujan's carbon fiber skin board project. For more about West System's newly formulated 207 Special Clear Hardener and to see other cool videos, go to WestSystem.com.